property is 1996 today as I go through this property I don't want anyone really to freak out because there's a lot wrong with it but it doesn't mean that it's bad it just means that you're gonna prepare for a strategy to move forward to buy it and then also you can determine your tolerance levels of what you're choosing to accept or not accept with this one let's go check it out one of the first things I noticed uh, coming out to the property is we had a lot of wood rot or right behind the gutters this always means that the gutters aren't draining properly and it's going behind the gutter and eventually causing all the wood to rot out. Also, the next item is on the outside of the property. There's a lot of heavy foliage. With all this heavy foliage, as I walk up to the property, I automatically start thinking termites. Termites, and I don't know why I tied these two together, but if I have a lot of heavy foliage, I just know they're not taking care of their HVAC system. I don't know why that relates to each other, but it does. Okay, for the next item, I'm just kind of hooking a right from the door, making my way back around, and then I'll go all the way back around and get back to the door again. But I came across the garage door, and I noticed that it was damaged on the corner here, and I came down and I noticed there's about three panels done. As soon as you start to see over one or two panels, you want to just replace the whole thing uh, to get it functioning properly again. Like I said, from the front of the property, as I come around, I, I tied the heavy foliage, saying that they're probably not taking care of the HVAC system. Again, another sign, you have the secondary drain pipe, you have rust coming down the side of the wall, and then you even have a bunch of dead grass. We know that the HVAC's been running here for a long period of time, and it's bypassing the primary drain, going out the secondary drain, so we know we have some HVAC issues. Coming around the corner again, come across the condenser on the outside. We already know it's old. We have a little bit of fin damage on it, but still we're getting a general idea that the HVAC system hasn't been updated. The property's 1996. It looks original. It probably is. So we know we have R22 Freon. It's older. It's leaking outside. So you're probably starting to look at a new HVAC system whenever you're purchasing the pro this property. All right, let's go down further and see what we find. All right, walking around the exterior, again, we always come across clean outs, and you can tell this one's been hit by the lawnmower a few times. I always like to kind of kick them just to see if they're, they're operating all right or if they're sitting in the ground. And this one, as I came across, it kicked it, and you know, you can just pick it right out of the ground. So we know we have some repairs that, for the, the drain system outside. All right, coming inside the property, I always like to start inside the kitchen and do a quick pass, one quick pass on the inside, do a general scan of kind of know what to expect out of the property, and then I'll do a second pass, some more detailed, where I'm going to hit every outlet, check all the doors, fixtures, windows, you know, just anything I can get my hands on and operate. As I go through the second pass, well, anything I come across, I'll talk to you about it. But the main thing is, is we noticed the water was off as soon as we entered the property. Most of the time we'll try to reschedule, but this one is an investment property and we already know that we have a lot of plumbing issues just by the way the fixtures look and looking under the sinks and you can see that they're not functioning by the, the cabinet being damaged underneath it. But what we'll do is start hooking it right right here and we'll check out those items. Okay, it's getting pretty hot in here. The, uh, we shut off the AC because because it was leaking so bad in the attic and leaking outside. So just to be safe, we didn't want to damage the property more. But as we continue through on the inside, we notice that the door, it's leaking through the base and you can see some light coming in. Anytime you see light coming in, you know that you're gonna have water intrusion. So we know we're probably gonna replace this door. Coming further back, we know we, anytime you start to see a lot of window seal damage, we know we're getting a lot of water intrusion. So we, going to want to reseal all the windows and maybe sand these down, repaint them to prevent any type of rot coming along. As we even move further back, we come to the fireplace. We noticed that the flashing was lifting up inside, but we weren't quite sure if it was leaking yet. And then we noticed there was some damage at the top here. And you can see the path of the water where it was traveling. So we know that we have some roof leaks too as well. So we need some roof repair, some repairing around the windows and repairing the doors. As we're going through the property, we notice all the floors are in terrible condition. Most inspectors, if they start to see this in a lot of areas, they're gonna go through and they're gonna just document, you know, floors damage in various locations and probably drop like five or six photos just showing it's damaged. But you know, as an investor coming in, you're just gonna have to replace all the floors in most of your houses. Hook and right, stand right, we ended up in the master bathroom pretty much all the plumbing fixtures. I know we talked about it over there, but we noticed there's some surface damage in the sink. It's cracking, cracking. We noticed the grout improvement, the tub is damaged all the way through, and you can tell all the faucets are leaking. 
Also, the commode is excessively loose, and you can see where it was leaking onto the floor too. So as you're coming in, you're gonna want a budget to have to renovate all the bathrooms in this one as well. Okay, coming around the corner, we noticed that the attic ladder isn't completely closed. The attic ladder is actually gonna be a number one source where you're gonna lose a lot of your energy, a lot of your cold air. So we wanna make sure it's closed and it's properly insulated. Also, you can kinda of see it's a little dark in here. A lot of the fixtures aren't working and also a lot of the outlets aren't working inside the property. We did look inside the panel box. The little panel box looks mostly clean, you know, a lot of little small items, but that means that there's a problem at one of the, the outlets that's causing damage, <laughs> causing the outlets to be inoperative throughout the structure. As we're hooking a ride through the property, we notice this a weird surface damage inside the property. Some people can actually get this confused with water damage. Actually, even our client asked if it was water damage. This is not what this is, it's just someone doing a crappy job and they're buying those Home Depot sheetrock cans and they're filling it up and not really sanding it down. So whenever we see this as this home inspectors, we're just, and we see surface damage throughout the property, you're gonna get that various location comment. But as an investor, you know that you're probably gonna be replacing a lot of sheetrock and painting walls when you're coming in. All right, hooking to right, we came into this hall bathroom and we noticed that there was a lot of mold and water damage on the ceiling. And that was involved why we turned off the HVAC system and it's so hot in here. We just try to protect the property and preventing more damage to it. And uh, whenever you see this, the mold, as long as you take it out, cut it all out, remove it and replace it, you're going to be okay. But this is going to be something you're going to want to budget for whenever you're purchasing this property. Okay. Coming into this attic space, it's extremely hot. I mean, I can almost eat the air. If I had to guess, it's pushing like 190. I don't know. But as I come into the attic space, one of the number one problems is with Houston, Texas, or just in Texas in general, is that we have poorly ventilated attics. This leads to a number of issues inside your property. It gets hotter, quicker inside. The HVAC has to work, has to work harder. You get higher electric bills. Also, it actually even reduces the life of your roof, I'd even say by half. So by you coming in and adding in some turbines or a better ridge vent, you're gonna help out your energy bill and make the house more livable for you. But as we move on to the coils or the HVAC system here, we this we knew we were gonna have problems with just by walking outside is that you can see it was leaking on the system. There's actually a giant hole inside the coils and uh, um, you can see it's rusted through. So we know we have an R22 system, it's older and uh, it's gonna need to be replaced pretty much flat out. But I have to get out of here or I think I might die. All right, let's do a quick pros and cons of this property real quick. I know it seemed like there was a lot going on and a lot wrong, but actually for an investment point of view, I don't think it's that bad. The main things that I like to look at are the five major components, the roof, foundation, HVAC, electrical, and plumbing. And whenever I look at these items, I'm determining how much money I'm gonna to have to spend on them. Whenever I'm putting in the list, I'm thinking that the coils are gonna be your number one, your HVAC system. Whenever you're replacing that, you know, bare minimum, you know, most HVAC quotes in Houston area is gonna be around $8,000. Then the next item, I think of anything livability. So you know you're going to have to replace a lot of the plumbing and the fixtures and re renovate your bathrooms. So you want those functioning. And then last item is anything coming in from outside. So we had a lot of rot, rot around the gutters and then also we want to repair that roof damage to prevent anything going on. But the pros are, the, I don't see anything wrong with the foundation. You know, you also have copper plumbing, you have copper wiring. So your big ticket items, the guts, you know that they're there, so you're not doing a lot of renovation uh, to this structure. You're doing a lot of cosmetic things that you might have already been doing to begin with, but the HVAC, that's your number one big expense. Okay, so that's Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call, and always, please, like and share the videos. The camera shot look, it did. Does it look like I'm dying? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to Gosh, it's so hot, I can't even think. It's really hot. <laughs> I can't really think it's so hot.